Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing your money and finances reading. So let's see what shows up in this area, if there's any particular advice, any predictions, confirmations for you. Let's see, let's ask and see what shows up. Pisces, I love you so much. I hope you know that. I am very thrilled to be able to, you know, serve you with these readings. I hope that you enjoy them. If you do, please like, please subscribe, and most importantly, if you're vibing with this reading, if you're vibing with having more abundance and prosperity, claim it below and comment underneath this video, I am infinitely abundant. I am infinitely abundant. Let's make this beautiful energy start to magnify in that comment section, shall we? Alright, so spirit angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant confirmations, predictions, advice for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, and Rising about finances right now. What is it that they need to know? What would they benefit from knowing? So we got here first card, the temperance card. So I think you're going to be having a moment of, I feel like they're going to have progress, but it's like every step that you do or every step that you make moving forward, I feel like you're going to take a minute to process and to get that grounded. I feel like every little bit of movement forward, you're gonna want to make sure it's permanent. You don't want money to come in and go out. You don't want things to be ungrounded and like floaty <laughs> for what it seems. It seems like you're going to be um, even choosing to maybe move slower into the future as long as it's more of a permanent, more solid, grounded um, either solution to things or just steady movement forward. They're telling you here to take care of your energy. Take care in all ways, self-care, right? In all ways, pay attention to where you feel balanced, how you feel better. What is it that you're doing that makes you the happiest? Do more of that. Because there is a direct connection between your joy and your prosperity, between your well-being and your uh, finances, okay? So health is wealth, Pisces. And they're reminding you of that. Some of you, the easiest way for you to get into a good vibe is if you have any kind of body of water, whether it is a pool, whether it is a lake that you can go into, the ocean, a river, whatever it is that helps you connect to that watery nature of yours, it's like an immediate boost in all things good. And if you don't have any of that around, maybe a nice intentional shower would do. So we got the Six of Swords as the challenge. You're definitely leaving behind some drama. There has been some drama in your finances. There has been a lot of drama in your finances, Pisces. A lot of emotional aspects to your spending, to your earning, to your investing, to huh, so many things. I'm getting this wave of storylines. So it's like many of you may have had drama with friends about investments and money. Others of you may have had issues with your boss. It's like emotions seem to be very much, very much enmeshed. <laughs> uh, in the whole experience of money recently for you. But I feel like that is changing. I feel like that is like detangling a little bit. I feel like from now on money is gonna be money and friends are gonna be friends and lovers are gonna be lovers. Family is gonna be family. It's all gonna be way more easily separated. I feel like maybe it got really messy at some point 
Not for all of you, but take it if it resonates. You're leaving drama behind. It has been turbulent and it has been way more emotional than it, you know, that you would have wanted it to be. But you're still moving forward. You are leaving that kind of energy in the past. I feel like divine justice is showing up here for you. Recently, there have been favors, alignments, connections um, that spirit that the universe has favored for you. Things have been put into place. You have received divine justice. You have received favor. You have received maybe rewards for your efforts or simply a mirroring of what you've been giving. Recently, something or someone may have come in that helps everything just make more sense, everything stabilize. Some of you may have recently, yeah, I feel like, honestly, I feel like your spirit guides have recently helped you maneuver through certain difficult circumstances and finances. And I feel like they're gonna continue to be bringing to you like open doors, opportunities, keys to locked doors that you thought you were never going to be able to open, um, second chances, guides, people that, that can help you, people that can teach you certain things. There's a lot of opportunities that are coming here. And in a way, that's because you're choosing to leave the drama behind. Because some of you, Maybe you don't want to leave behind certain people, certain relationships. You want to take them with you, even if they're dramatic, even if they bring out a lot of crazy things for you. You know, some of you are not ready to let go and you don't want to let go. And it's like, the more aligned you are, the easier it is. But there's still movement forward, even if you're not aligned. That's what I'm getting. Some of you are going to be presented with a new tool, okay? Maybe a new opportunity at work. I see the sword and I see writing, I see public speaking, communication, thought, studies, um, higher studies, research. So I think that many of you are going to be invited into a path that includes those aspects. And it's gonna be quite refreshing and I feel like it's gonna be a lot cleaner. Look at what I'm getting, it's so interesting. Financially, maybe some of you, um, maybe you work, you have your own business, you have your own thing. And I see a lot of little transactions, like a lot of little ones. But now, into the future, what I see is one big one. And that's it. And it's like somehow better. It's like more money, less fuzz. <laughs> Maybe doing something that has to do with writing, with teaching, you know, something that has to do with this sword here. I see that you're coming up with more and more and more details about what you want to do next. Some of you are still not 100% clear on where you're going or what you want to do, um, professionally, financially, but I see that you're basically just writing down everything that you're seeing, um, ideas, inspirations, signs from the universe. And it may take a minute before all of these things come together into a new job or a new path it may take a minute um, but it's happening pisces okay it is happening i definitely some uh definitely see some of you writing so this could be getting your book self-published this could be getting your book um, published by a regular publishing house or this could be starting to work writing articles But it's, it's still not quite 
clear. You're still just sort of gathering information on the possibilities for the future. Yeah, some of you are really taking a minute to think about yourselves and what it is that you actually want. Some of you are evaluating dreams that you've had for as long as you remember. And you may be asking yourself, you know, like, is this really what I want? So I know this is what I wanted, <laughs> but is this still what I want? I don't know, I feel like you are trying to be the most honest with yourself possible. Some of you are going to be presented with an opportunity that is kind of like communal in a way. It's like um, maybe some kind of tour arriving at your city and being like, hey, like everyone gets to um, apply for this publishing deal or for this Netflix series position, whatever. I don't know, something. Something here is going to be like available for all and it seems like you're going to get a chance that is going to be very beautiful and you're going to value it very well. And I also see you taking it very seriously. In the environment, you got the Four of Pentacles. So what I see here is that even though things are getting better and getting more aligned you're still being called and advised to take care of your resources so that's kind of like a big lesson here maybe in the past you had access to a lot of abundance prosperity but maybe you were not as careful or as mindful with how you spent that or how you invested it i don't know there may have been some um questionable decisions or impulsive decisions, Pisces. And I feel like Spirit is telling you now, don't focus on how much is coming in. Don't focus on how much, I don't know, like how much of a flow is entering, but instead focus on how well you are administrating whatever it is that is there. There's a big emphasis on Basically, Spirit saying, you have been exposed to a lot of situations to teach you how to be better at setting boundaries, at administering or managing your energy, how much you give to others, how much time you give to others, how much time you give to yourself, how much energy, how much love, how much money, how many second, third, fourth chances you give to people. Spirit has been actively teaching you how to honor the resources that you have by making those resources maybe a little bit less accessible. So you value them more and you're a little bit more careful. Now, just because a bunch of money comes in doesn't mean that you have to throw all of those lessons out the window because <laughs> that will just make things make the cycle repeat itself. It's basically saying to the universe, oh, I didn't learn shit, let's do this again, you know? So take care of your resources, value your resources, and the resources of those you love as well. You may feel a little insecure in this area, Pisces, you may feel like you have been tested and don't yet know the answers to the questions. <laughs> I feel like some of you are making great progress, but you don't feel confident about that. You may feel instead quite disempowered in this area of your life, in the area of finances. Information is power. If you feel like you don't know something, then find out, learn. Research, ask, stumble around until you find yourself feeling more confident. You're capable of so much more than you think. You really are, Pisces. The comfort zone is not comfortable anymore. What's going to be the most comfortable is the new, the different, the possibilities. 
So you're headed into a chapter in which you're going to be the happiest the more you try new things, as long as you implement the lessons you have already learned. That is very important. And there is no need to push yourself to exhaustion, okay? Finances, money, abundance, prosperity is more about alignment than effort. Effort helps, you know, with the right vibe, it helps. Someone who works hard is blessed, always. However, I see that some of you are relying solely on hard work on the human way right and spirit is telling you why though like you are the high priestess you are the high priest you know like why are you going through the most physical and dense path there when you can have quantum leaps and jump from one place to another so harmoniously and some of you have been in this energy of struggle because of insecurity and a lack of trust on how well do you manage your resources. But Spirit is telling you here, trust yourself and do it better, you know? Prove yourself wrong, prove your insecurities wrong. You don't have to work a bazillion hours a day to make things happen. Sometimes one call is more powerful than 12 hours of hard work. Sometimes daring to submit a form that takes you 20 minutes, you know, can propel you forward years ahead instead of that, you know, uh, specific, repetitive, committed hard work. So if you would like to know a little bit more about the dynamics of energy and finances and prosperity, I recommend you my course Abundance Blueprint. It's our bestseller. So check it out because it really isn't about effort. It's about alignment. And from what I see here in the cards, some of you are putting in so much effort. You're drained, you're tired, and it's not particularly showing as far as results either. So, you know, reconsider. Reconsider and align instead of push. I see you Pisces entering a new phase, a difficult time is what I heard, is ending. A difficult time is ending. And this is kind of similar to the message that we received for this week ahead. Well, by the time you watch this video, it's probably the week that we're in. There is a video for the week that goes from the 23rd to the 29th of September. And the message that shows up there about money, because there's a section that is about money, is very similar and has a little bit more depth to it. So you can go ahead and check that video out as well. So, Pisces. If you can identify any of the energies, even better, if you can identify all of the energies, that would be so fun. That would be so cool. You can comment below. I love, love, love the comments in this particular kind of reading because the tea, the tea is spilled in the comment section. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much, Pisces. So let's see. Um, spirit, universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and detailed, accurate information for Pisces to know what are the three main energies that are paying a lot of attention to Pisces and why? We want to know. We want to know. All right, first energy here. Is Ooh, a Taurus. Okay. Some of you are like, oh no, I know who that is. <laughs> we haven't even started the reading of Pisces. We haven't even started. Yeah, this could be uh, someone, could be a Taurus, doesn't have to have to be. Could be a Taurus, someone arising, 
Also, fire signs are showing up here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that is a possibility as well. Strongly Leo. So I see that someone here is looking at you and they're thinking that it's like they feel kind of bad for you. Um, they're worried about you, it seems. It seems like they see you like you're struggling. They have this perception of you being very tired, um, burned out, tied up. And it seems like they want to offer their help. Maybe they want to offer some kind of assistance financially, professionally. Uh, this is someone who you know, maybe you know from past lives, maybe you know from this life, but from earlier years. Okay, so this is like someone from the past that wants to come in and bring some love your way. Could be someone you haven't seen in a while, uh, but at the same time, this person has good, concerned feelings for you. They see you as someone who has always been in the pursuit of greatness, in the pursuit of achieving something big, and they wonder if you're taking the proper care of yourself that they consider is necessary for the big goals that you have. It's like they see you as someone who relentlessly is chasing the sun. But they do wonder if you're taking enough care of yourself. This person is comfortable financially. They have what, what they need. And a little bit more. They enjoy their life. They have a lot of... They have a big budget for enjoyment. <laughs> Uh, they have a big budget to spend on beautiful experiences and travel and things like that. This could also be someone from your past that is aware of how ambitious you are, Pisces. And as they are also very ambitious, it's like as they go through their journey, they, they with different milestones that they reach, they think of you. You taught this person a lot about self-love, but they wonder if you are applying, if you're walking the talk, if you're actually doing what you encourage others to do. This could be someone who had some kind of romantic interest towards you at some point. But I feel like it's also like a, a very friendly soulmate vibe. Bless me. Thank you. <laughs> I see here um, that they constantly use your advice or your... It's like if you have like social media and you share like self-care uh, tips they really rely on those, but they do wonder if you are doing what you say you need to do to be well. Some of you... It's like all of you seem to be very busy, but some of you are dealing with it a little more gracefully. Some of you are in this Queen of Wands energy taking care of everything, but doing it in a way that's like you're dancing through your life. Like you're dancing, having fun, enjoying, jumping from one area to the other like a little fairy and um, making sure that everything is taken care of. But others of you are kind of like wanting to be in that energy, but instead you're more like always running, like always running behind, feeling like you're always late. And I feel like they wonder <laughs> if you're in one or the other of those energies. They wonder if you are gracefully jumping from one thing to the next, or if you're actually secretly like burned out. And even though they're curious, I don't feel like they're judgmental necessarily. Like, I know that these messages are so 
easily um, it's so easy to interpret these messages as someone being like it's Pisces walking the talk you know but honestly I don't feel like that toxicity I feel like they're like I hope that Pisces is taking care of themselves I wonder if they are I hope they are you know and if they're not I wish I knew so I could help that's the vibe I'm getting all right, so let's see what is the second energy showing up for Pisces. The second energy that is thinking a lot about Pisces these days and why. here with you Pisces uh, very very clearly if you have a partner if you're in a committed relationship if there is plans to get married this person thinks about that way more than you realize okay this person fantasizes about the wedding this person fantasizes about the ring and the thing and the honeymoon and the the, the freaking plates at your wedding <laughs> this person thinks about that way more than you realize okay um, if you don't have a romantic interest at this time, maybe there is someone who has always had a crush on you that really does believe Pisces is the one I'm going to marry. <laughs> um, I don't know what they're waiting for, uh, but let's see. Yeah, this person definitely is thinking about a long-term future with you. It's like someone is... This is so funny. You know when there's like really amazing products and you somehow feel like, oh my god, take my money. Like, <laughs> like just take my money. Where do I sign up? You know, that kind of vibe. That's what I'm getting, but like romantically. It's like someone here saying like, I can't wait for Pisces to take my singlehood away from me forever. <laughs> It's like they really want to just be yours. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, marriage, 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 marriage. So, you know, maybe there is... I feel like this is mostly for those of you who have a current romantic partner, to be honest. Um, and I feel like this person, you know, maybe right now you have plans on getting married, getting uh, engaged, maybe you are engaged, I don't know. Um, but it seems like maybe finances, timing, logistics could be like a little bit of a, a little bit, not of a problem, but something to solve, as you can see here in this card. And this person is like, I am going to fix this, I am going to solve it, I'm going to find a way around it. <laughs> this person thinks about getting married way more than you realize, Pisces. Way more than you realize. It seems like this person has gone through a lot in love. And they just, it's like when you know you know. But they're like, I know, therefore, I must put a ring on it. <laughs> that kind of energy. Just to make sure. It's a little exhausting for them. I feel... I feel like they don't bring it up as much. Or they don't talk about it. But I feel like this person not only thinks about it in a positive way and dreams about it. But I feel like this person is constantly like looking at numbers, calculating, um, like planning, thinking, brainstorming of ways in which they can make this happen sooner. And you're not even here. 
It's like, your energy is just like, you're doing your own thing. But they are really trying to find the answer in order to make this happen as quickly and as easily and beautifully as possible. So for those of you in committed relationships, that's very sweet. For those of you who are dating as well, even if it's early stages, this person, this person, it's like love at first sight. Maybe they knew they wanted to spend their life with you before you even knew about them. You know, this could have been someone like at school who was always there in the background and they were head over heels over you always. And now they have a chance with you or something. It's like, they are sure. You may not be necessarily, but they are sure. All right, so that's sweet. <laughs> Now, third energy, spirit, mostly thinking and focusing on Pisces and why. So there is someone here considering you for something. Maybe you applied for a job. Maybe you applied um, for a promotion, an opportunity, a contest, a competition. It seems like you're one of many being considered for something. They see you as someone who's incredibly peaceful and at the same time, incredibly talented, multifaceted, and great at multitasking. They don't doubt your hard work and your work ethic. They see you as someone who takes advantage of opportunities, but it seems like they're evaluating uh, several people and, you know, their work or, you know, what suits them best. Apparently, there's something about your nationality, your citizenship, your origin, the currency that you work with that for some reason has an impact on their decision. So this kind of vibe is like, for example, let's say that a company um, could hire you or someone local. And because they're local, they like the, the payment is less and there's a lot more like ease with paperwork. And it's like, there's a, a heavy emphasis on Aspects of you as a contender that don't have to do necessarily with your work specifically or your talent, but instead with like your origin. It's like more convenient for a company to, to buy um, a product that is local or for, for them to sign someone who is X, Y, and Z. But they're really paying attention to the energy though. This person who's considering candidates may not be a spiritual person. They may not be someone who's like aware of energies. At least not they are aware of it. But subconsciously they're clearly picking up on energies. And they are clearly making choices based on who feels good to them and you feel good to them some of you may have submitted like a manuscript a book or a project to like some form of publishing house or the equivalent in whatever industry that is and it's like your work heals something within the person that is reading your work, considering your work. And that becomes a deal breaker that uh, 
It seems like they want to, like, they want to choose you. Not because it's the best option, not because it's the most logical per se, but because you make them feel something. They feel something. And that is what makes you stand out, Pisces. It's like they see that within the contenders, there are people who are perhaps more talented that could reach position number one fast, faster. But there's something about you that they can't quite decipher, but they want it. <laughs> it's like they want whatever it is that you're selling, okay? Even if it's not necessarily the best, it's the energy. And I'm not saying that your work is not the best, I'm not saying that your work is bad at all, okay? All I'm saying is if you are being evaluated through all standards, Technically, you wouldn't be the best or the most convenient choice for them. But it seems like something that you make them feel tips the balance in your favor. Interesting, Pisces. Okay, comment below. Let me know what is going on. Who is who? Spill the tea. I want to hear all about it. <laughs> Alrighty, Pisces. Um, remember to book your 2025 yearly forecast. If that is something that you're interested in, book it as quickly as possible so you can get your discount and the different payment options. Um, and so you can get it earlier because you know that at the end of the year, I'm always kind of scrambling, um, finding a way to finish everything. And the sooner you book it, the sooner you get it. And the sooner you can get your plans for 2025 on track. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, this is a reading that is sent to you, done for you, your energy specifically, not Pisces. It's a personalized reading in which we break down predictions in all areas of life for each month of 2025. So you get this PDF and you get your January references, the angel that you should work with, the crystal that could serve you, the advice for this, for that the month and how it is good for this, but not for that. And you can make a whole plan of your year way more accurately, way more consciously. And instead of like battling the energies of the year or your, all year long, you can set, instead put yourself in the flow. So if that is of interest to you, the information will be in the description box below, also on the website under the shop. Sending all my love, Pisces. I hope you sign up and I hope that we get to connect this way if we haven't before. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Important messages for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear right now? Well, you are on the right path. <laughs> If that is not a lovely message to receive, I don't know what that is. So with the two of wands here, what they're telling you straight away, right away, is that you have already made choices, right? You have already placed yourself in a particular path. And even though sometimes you wonder if you are where you need to be, they're telling you, yes, yes, you are where you need to be, okay? You are on your way to the things that you've been wanting to manifest, you're on your way to your life purpose, to that fulfillment. And even though sometimes there's insecurities, they're telling you trust, you know, trust that you are where you need to be and you have made the choices to get there. Seven of Wands here, letting us know that it's okay to protect what you have created. Not only okay, but necessary, Pisces. It is important for you to acknowledge that certain things have taken a lot of work and, you know, it's okay to honor those things and honor yourself by keep pushing through, persevering, right? 
doing what you feel needs to be done. Protecting your peace, protecting your mental health, your well-being is also key here. Boundaries. And not like letting others break your spirit, not letting others sort of like take your power away. There are certain people who maybe want to see you small or who want to see you fail. But, you know, you're not having it. <laughs> you're not allowing it and there's no reason why you should. But there's also people who care about you. And that's the thing, that discernment of knowing when someone's advice is coming from the heart and knowing when someone's advice is uh, bringing in some kind of like hidden agenda, right? So we got the Three of Swords in the challenge here. Some of you have been grieving. Some of you have been um, emotionally disrupted. You know, you've been feeling heartbroken for something, maybe for some time. Some of you have been working on healing, maybe for a really long time. And <sighs> Spirit wants you to know that although it has been hard, you are on your way. And I know that sounds redundant to what I said earlier, uh, but it's just, you're not being defeated by this heartbreak, okay? You're not being defeated by this difficult chapter in your life. Some of you feel like, well, that was, that was it for me. You know, that was as high as I could go, or that was um, as far as I could take my life. And because of this heartache, heartbreak, um, I'll never be the same, or I'll never be strong again, or I'll ne never be in control again. And Spirit is saying here, that's actually not accurate. But I understand why you think that, right? Then we got here the Emperor as your challenge as well. So there could be... Some of you could have some kind of difficulty with an Aries, possibly, or some kind of heartache that had to do with an Aries somehow. Um, others of you could be um, wanting to really step into this like emperor status in your life, in your universe, above the kings in the tarot, right? That person who not only is at the head of the empire, but has the wisdom to call the shots, has the wisdom to either follow the rules or not, depending, right, on what they consider to be appropriate. I feel like you, Pisces, you have this resonance within you. You know that that's who you are, really, that you are an emperor at heart, that you belong in that very, very powerful leadership position because that's what you were born to do you know it just you just know and there has been a lot of heartbreak knowing about your potential knowing about how far you should be or you could be or whatever in life and in your pursuit in your life purpose in your mission whatever and you know for some of you it like breaks your heart not to be able to fulfill that potential but the thing is there is divine timing here and you've had a good chance to heal which is a good thing you've had a minute okay, okay. i'll be give me just a second you guys my cat is bullying me into opening the door for him that sounds so dramatic <laughs> So we got here the Naval Wands in your recent past. So Pisces. <sighs> Let's see. You have been You have been healing. 
But what you haven't really acknowledged or fully understood is that as you were healing, you were also getting ready for this new chapter. How? Well, maybe in this downtime, in this time in which maybe you, I don't know, haven't felt like your most powerful self, maybe you have turned to art or maybe you have turned to health, maybe you have learned about certain things that were important about not only healing but like psychology or supplements, I don't know, but that seemingly random search, (laughs) jumping from one subject to the next that you find interesting, seemingly random is definitely not random, okay? The things that you have learned in this downtime are essential and they have prepared you for this new chapter without you even knowing. Not consciously anyway. All right, so in your mind space here, you got the nine of pentacles. So some of you here, it seems like you're looking around and not only being aware of how beautiful beautiful your life is becoming, but also being aware of how beautiful it can be. Materially speaking, many of you have this hope, this desire, this goal to, you know, have beautiful surroundings, a beautiful home, to redecorate your home, to maybe um, pursue beauty in different ways, to elevate your surroundings, to elevate your experience. In the material realm. Many of you have this desire, this dream of making more money. Having a better home. A bigger home. A nicer car. You know. And it may be other things. It may not be as vain, right? And I'm not saying that's vain. But it may seem vain, right? Certain people may be like, oh, why would you want a bigger home if you already have a home? You know. That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is that you're looking to... Have your environment match the potential within you, basically. And as you grow, and as you tap into that potential, and as you heal, and as you expand, it's like you want your environment to elevate with you. Which is absolutely natural, and that's what happens. It's inevitable. You don't really have to make an effort. As you heal, as you elevate internally, it starts to happen externally. It just does but sometimes it's not the way that we want you know sometimes it's not all bright and shiny sometimes to elevate we need to release certain people or certain habits or certain forms of thinking that are stopping us from being our fullest selves and the more resistance we have as i always say the more resistance we have to that the more we cling on to things as they are for the sake of comfort zone right? Um, that's, that's how much, you know, we can have a difficult experience in up leveling, oddly. Some of, I feel like cracking my back, my neck. Um, so there's like tension. Some of you could have a lot of like physical tension, a lot of like heaviness, stress, maybe pressure. There has been a, uh, (laughs) sorry you guys, I know I sound a little like paused and and slow, if (laughs) if the reading is way too slow for you as the messages come in, please um, visit the little thingy in the corner that's like a wheel and make sure to adapt the (laughs) the speed, you know, in a way that is nice for you because I know that it's like I'm loading so what I see here for the near future is that you're going to recognize what is not sustainable anymore 
you're going to recognize that spirit has closed certain doors for you. Uh, maybe things that in the past worked wonderfully don't work anymore. And that's not bad luck and that is not a blockage and that is not, you know, necessarily anything negative. It is spirit closing those doors so that you have to look around and see which doors are open. By looking around, seeing which doors are open, you find a better door. A door that leads to that higher place. To that new beginning that takes you where you're praying to go. And you have this wisdom, you have this understanding of life, of how spirit works, how the universe works, how everything is just connected. So as soon as you see these doors closing, you may be like, why are they closed? You may try opening them. You may try all the different keys. You may try what has worked before, but doesn't now. And evaluate it and blah, blah, blah. And now, uh, now you're realizing, oh, I see what you're doing there. I see why uh, you are pointing me in a different direction. But maybe, you know, it got a little frustrating not knowing where to go, where to turn. There's going to be an offer here that is going to trigger a lot of change. There's going to be an offer, uh, an invitation, a proposal, someone sharing some kind of appreciation for you. And this is going to really trigger like a whole process. Maybe directly, easily, you know, you get an offer, you say yes, it changes your life. Okay. But maybe you get an offer, you say yes, they say no, you're like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> like there's a whole process that unfolds. And it makes you want to seek certain opportunities or certain things that maybe in the past you didn't feel ready for. Who knows? Who knows? But spirit is closing certain doors to obligate you to look around and make you see the doors that are available which are better suited for you. Which will lead you to brighter uh, spaces. And basically the spaces that you've been asking for, really. So yes, Pisces, that is the message that I have for you today. I hope that this reading serves you. Remember to book your personalized forecast for 2025. Um, in the website, I'm going to leave everything in the description box below. This is a reading that will bring a breakdown of every single month of 2025 for you ahead of time. So you're going to get a chance to organize your year, to know which months are going to feel how, right? Uh, which are the months in which you can have the most success with your professional stuff. Um, booking things, booking interviews, booking launches. Um, at the same time, which is the best month for vacation? <laughs> what is going to be a rough month as far as like social interactions? Everything is going to be showing up there in the cards. And it's not for Pisces, it's for your energy. It's you specifically. So that's why it's such a powerful tool to have, especially ahead of time. So check everything out in the description box below. And um, I hope to see you on the other side. Bye, Pisces. All right, so Pisces, I see that some of you, you have been maybe feeling a little bit sleepier than usual, a little bit more tired, drained. Um, maybe this week, the previous week, um, in which we had this huge, massive Pisces eclipse, you know, you may have had a lot going on, or you may have just felt physically a lot going on, right? So I see that you may be a little tired. Some of you are really craving a vacation, a massage, a break, a time off, some kind of um, 
change of air, you know, a change of, of energy, a change of intention, of space, motivation. It's like some of you are feeling um, a little bit stagnant with something that is repeating itself for far too long. Maybe you've had like the same job, same position, same co-workers for I don't know how many years and you're like, I'm ready for something different, you know? I see here that some of you are going to be really embarking on new things. But I say it like that because I feel like for some of you it's going to be new things completely new things, new job, new home, new everything. But for others, it's going to be finding the new or the refreshed vibe within certain structures that you want to contain or you want to maintain in your life. So it's like maybe you don't want to change jobs, but something's going to change in there because the energy is very stagnant and you can feel that it's weighing you down, Pisces. So this week, I feel like you're going to be exposed to ideas, ways in which people may be doing things you want to do that are different, that may feel more exciting for you. By the way, my loves, if any of you are interested in booking your forecast for 2025, I've got a good rhythm going, so make the most out of the early bird discount before it's gone. All the info will be in the description box below. Alright, so I see here that not only this week you're going to be very much in your power spiritually, energetically, you're going to be feeling very aligned. And the more you give way to these new inklings in which you know you're like you know what i'm curious about this i'm curious about that how does that work how would that feel what kind of life would i maybe be able to live like what timeline would i like to tap into if you allow these questions to be present in your mind this week and you give yourself the opportunity to joyously you know find find what's up with that um i see you being very synchronistically connected. Now, you always are Pisces, you're highly intuitive, you're always the High Priestess. But I get a sense that the more you let this energy flow, like, you know, like a river, instead of like stagnant water, the more you let your life like oxygenate, <laughs> um, get some oxygen, some movement, some refreshment, the more you're going to feel connected to that um, high priestess energy. It's like you're going to be at the right place at the right time. You're going to suddenly, you know, consider applying for something and before you know it, it an invitation comes to your email before you even apply it. Things like that, like little miracles everywhere, little winks from spirit everywhere. Um, but if you are allowing things to be a little bit too stagnant, it's like that's diminished a little bit. And I mean, it makes sense. If you are, let's say, as an example, doing the same routine every single day, um, spending your entire day at home, uh, limited contact, limited experiences, it's like there's less of a chance of spirit communicating to you through animals, through car license plates, through whatever it is you encounter when you go outside. So it's like the more you move, the more you're out there, the more opportunities it seems like spirit has to wink at you <laughs> and let you know that you're on the right path, basically. So I see here that there is a lot of support this week from perhaps a love interest, um, established romantic partner, spouse. There is um, someone here in your life, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They see you. They see you in all of your beautiful imperfection. They see you for who you are. They love you for who you are. They wanna be with you for all the right reasons. 
And I feel like this person is helping you move away from this stagnant energy. This person may be helping you heal. This is someone who um, may be very decisive once they want something. It's like they're going to get it, you know. And I feel like you're going to be in this energy too this week. You're going to set yourself a goal and you're going to make it happen. Beware of not uh, leaving your loved ones unattended or other things that matter to you unattended because you're so focused on something this week. I don't think there's much of a risk of that, but that is something that, you know, I always find relevant with the Knight of Swords. However, I just feel like you're going to be saying yes to so many opportunities this week because you are just aligned with them, you know, maybe because of the eclipse, maybe because of your intentions, whatever it may be, Pisces, you're going to be there when you need to be there, you know, you're going to be the one in line before they say we're closing up for today, and it's like you get the chance to do whatever it is that you went there to do, you're going to be that lucky one this week, luck is on your side 100%. And you're moving forward, but you're moving forward, Pisces, with a very clear, tested <laughs> awareness of who matters most in your life, who is there because they're really there, and who is there because they have some kind of interest, right? Some kind of, mm, I don't know, hidden agenda maybe? Many of you have been in a period of releasing relationships, releasing people in all different contexts, some easier than others, but I do sense you're moving into this new chapter, Pisces, protected and having the spirit already, it's like the process of spirit taking out everyone who didn't belong at your highest timeline. That has happened. And now you're moving into this highest timeline. Now you're moving into this new chapter in which miracles are as common as breathing. <laughs> but it's like you couldn't get into that energy with the people that you had around you. Some of you had sharks around you the whole time. The more you received, the more you show your power, the more blessed you were, the more synchronistic you were. It would bring trouble, you know, with those people that you had in your life. And now, I don't know, I feel like recently some of you have made a decision, a very clear decision of maybe going no contact with someone, blocking someone, pushing someone out of your life for good. And it seems like Spirit is rewarding you for this, for setting a boundary. You're leaving drama behind and you're going full speed ahead towards your goals. Like, get out of the way. Pisces will run you over if you don't get out of the way. That kind of vibe. <laughs> and this week may feel like that. You may be like, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. Feel free to open the path for me or I'll run you over. Whatever you choose, it's fine. <laughs> I see you very determined this week. Love is looking great. Lots of support, a lot of self-love as well. A complete overflow of love and kindness from the universe to you in ways that are so noticeable. You're gonna feel so supported this week. You're going to remember what it feels like to be in your magical nature, in your magical energy. But that is because you have made this huge purge of energies. There is, yeah, a definite um, chapter that is opening up as far as finances go. Money, finances, success, recognition in the professional area. There is something starting this week. Uh, a new era. That's what I heard. A new era. Ooh. 
Well, this is interesting. So as I say that, I think this is the first time this happens in a reading. I just felt like I was um, like levitated, like elevated from the floor, like with my chair. <laughs> and I kind of felt like I was like flying a little bit, like elevating. Um, and of course that's the sensation I got, not that that just happened. Um, but that sensation makes me makes me think that the timeline that you're entering, it's like the rules are going to be different. The rules, what is normal, what is not normal, what is expected, what is common, is just going to be better. It's like the people that come into your life, you're going to be able to count on them for real. The money that comes into your life is here to stay. The opportunities that come, it's because they're aligned. I don't know, I feel like everything is going to be like a little bit more accurate. A little bit less room for error. And it starts this week. It starts this week. You may be presented with an opportunity this week or maybe the, the week before the 23rd. You may be presented with an opportunity that makes you laser focused on a goal. So it may be like someone is giving you a chance to apply for something that maybe you didn't think you could apply for. So it's like they open the door just a little bit and you're like running in. <laughs> um, and this is going to bring a lot of abundance, I see. This is a new era financially, Pisces, that's starting. The eclipse obviously has tons to do with this. By the way, how, how have you been feeling? Comment below. I can't wait to hear your experience with the eclipse. It has been very, very nice to me. Very interesting, magical. So yeah, this is a new era in which not only are you aware that you're moving forward, you're getting a lot of winks and confirmations from the universe that you're on the right path, but also you're starting to see and feel and have in your hands physical evidence <laughs> that it is a new era. So maybe many of you have for quite a long time been feeling like it's a new era financially, but you haven't been really seeing the money come in or you haven't really seen anything change tangibly. This is the week in which you're going to start to see very, very clearly all the reasons and evidence proving to you that this time around is different in a good way in a very good way for health and wellness you may feel a little bit tired some of you are recovering from burnout some of you are going through full-blown burnout right now um, Others of you are actually healing from a time of grief and difficulty. I feel like you're going to be a little tired, but nothing you cannot deal with. I feel like you're going to be able, out of excitement, honestly, of all the good things happening, um, push that tiredness aside and, and do what you need to do. Remember that you can ask spirit, you can ask your angels, you can ask your benevolent ancestors to provide strength for you when you feel tired. You don't have to do everything on your own. You have access to that energy, Pisces. You have access to that energy. And it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need to do this whole big thing and ritual and thing. No, just ask. Just pray. Pisces, the 2025 forecasts are available i invite you to consider it um these are readings that i do every year these are readings made speci specifically for you in which a breakdown of each month of 2025 is going to be uh done for you for your life for your energy not just pisces but your specific energy letting you know what is favored and what is advised against each month and all of that you're going to be receiving it before 2025 so you get to plan ahead Pisces and I can't tell you how powerful of a tool that is 
to just know that you can polish your plans a little bit and that you're not gonna have to be like planning your full year ahead only to tear that down a month in because you realize that you know none of that is gonna happen because this didn't happen that way because that timing because of this thing this energy whatever so i invite you to consider it check it out there's a discount right now and there are uh there's the option for you to pay in different installments if that's more comfortable for you so please go ahead and check it out you won't regret it that is one of the products that i'm very very proud of being able to offer people that get it once tend to get it afterwards every year so that is a good sign <laughs> i'm very positive about that and apparently it's very 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 helpful so yeah thanks to all of you who have already signed up thanks to all of you who have already received yours and what else i think that's it my loves i think that's the announcement that i had for you enjoy the week this is gonna be very magical and you deserve it pisces enjoy every bit of it i love you